Hello everyone and welcome to Factorio. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to build the SRC, Safe Railway Crossings. Now there's two types, Train Priority and Player Priority. And in this episode I will be covering how to build the Train Priority one. Now there's another video that shows how to build the Player Priority one and I highly encourage you to look at that one as well to see what the differences are between the two types. Alright, so let's just uh, observe this train priority crossing here and uh, see the dynamics of it. If you notice, um, by default, the player gates are open. But as soon as the train comes, it gets priority, thus being the train priority one. And uh, the train gates open and closing the player out, so the player has to wait. So the train always gets the priority to go through this intersection and that way uh, the train is actually being kept moving and uh, doesn't stop so you don't interrupt your, um, your train flow and this is actually modeled based on real life so in real life you I mean if you think about it a trains always get priority it's not gonna stop uh, for you to cross you have to stop for the train to cross so the way it works is that we have a sensor here the the rail signal and it uh, reads uh, the signal and passes it on to the circuit network. So the signal can be red, orange, or green based on you know where the train is. So if the train is uh, not here, it's going to be green, which means you're allowed to go. If the train is coming up uh, and it's yellow right there, so um, this section actually closes, but the other one's open. And see here. Um, it's the reverse. So this one was open and this one was closed. So on yellow, um, whatever uh, direction the train is going, that section becomes closed. And these gates, of course, are open, allowing the train to go through. So it basically doesn't matter if it's um, yellow or red. There you go. See, I can't, I can't go through. So let's actually take a look at the power pole. Um, so right now, the only si and the only signals that I'm actually using here are the color signals from the sensors here. Now these um, these two are not connected, so these are two independent um, networks, circuit networks. Uh, these two power poles are connected, so across the uh, horizontally they are connected, but vertically they're not. So these are two independent, and I guess you can make them. So they are, um, you know, working in unison, but it wouldn't make any sense because you want the trains to keep on moving. Um, so if this train is coming up and there's another train coming, you know, the other way, you wouldn't want that one to actually, like, just stop. I mean, it would do it anyway, I guess. So it doesn't really matter. Anyways, let's look at the gates. That's the fun part. So this gate has an open condition when uh, the green signal is greater than zero, which means if this signal right here is green, then the gate is open. And if it's not, then the gate will close. And we have just pretty much an inverse on these two gates. So we're checking if the green condition is equal to zero, which means it's gonna be either yellow or red and the same thing is actually on this gate. So we're going to open it only when there's um, a uh, red or yellow signal. And this one we're going to close when there's a green signal. Or sorry, close when there's a red or yellow and open when there's a green signal. These lights, uh, they're just enabled all the time and I have them to use colors. So the colors are actually already in the network. So it's just copying whatever uh, these rail signals are. So it's green to come through if there's no train coming. And then when, as soon as the train comes, this pretty much lights up yellow or red, indicating that you cannot walk through. And that's all there is to it. This side is just um, mirrored, replicated the same way as this side. Now these are not uh, safe to stand in, like you wouldn't want to stand here in real life as well. 
So you, these are primarily just for crossing. So you are able to cross when it's uh, free. So I'll just keep on doing this for just a bit to show you guys um, how safe it is. So see, there you go. Now you don't want to stand there again or you will uh, get run over. But it does keep the trains moving and there is no way that you can uh, trap the train inside which is actually the case with the uh, player priority one. You can actually trap the train inside and uh, it will keep like destroying the gate unless you move away. So make sure you watch that other video where I talk about how to build the um, player priority gate as well. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, it for the overview. So let's get uh, actually building the, um, the intersection, the, the crossing. All right, so I have disabled the tracks here so the trains actually uh, don't run us over as we're building. But uh, you want to start off with a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tiled area. Uh, this is pretty much good for a car to go through, or you. Um, you can, of course, do whatever you want, but uh, this is my recommendation here. So let's uh, build some gates here. Uh, pretty much one tile away from the tracks. There we go. And now let's do the ones for the rails. Rails take two track or two two walls, and then close them up, just like so. In the corners and uh, extend it out, still leaving that one space. Oh, missed one here. One's a uh, space um, between the track. There we go. That's built. Let's add the power poles in the corners. And uh, a rail uh, a rail signal, the, the sensor, it's going to be, um, you could put it as far as away as you like. Uh, if the train is coming like really, really fast, you probably want to place it further along from this intersection. Remember, this is your sensor. And, um, you know, that is pretty much what determines when the, um, when the gates close and open. So let's wire this to this and this little rail signal to the pole. So now we are actually getting, we're reading in what the uh, signals are. Okay, let's hook up the gates. So we'll go from this pole to this gate and from this pole to this gate. So this is the train gate. Also, we need to take care of this gate, but not that gate. So that gate will be controlled by the other um, the other part. So now I can't get through. Yay! <laughs> so we want to get through. So let's click on the wall gate controller and we want to open the gate when we have a green signal greater than zero, which means that this is this is clear to go. So now we can actually copy paste this to the other gate. We have to hold shift, cl right click. Uh, as you can see, this turns green now, the selection. Now we can hold shift and uh, left click. And as you can see, the gate opens up as soon as uh, we pasted that in. If we double check, there we go. That's our open condition already set. Easy as pie. We can actually do this for um, this one and this one. And as soon as we actually connect them, like so, and like so, and then here, and here. There we go. Oh, uh, one more. One more. Here, up there. Oh, right. And I actually connected it to the other side where, okay. So, copy, copy, copy. We already have it copied, so let's just paste it here and here. So the first time I actually pasted it on the other side, and that's why it didn't do anything. So yeah, this is now going to be continuously open unless a train comes through. Let's also connect 
to this one. And what else are we missing? I think that's good. Yeah, this one's connected and actually this one is not connected, I think. Yeah, there we go. Make sure you get everything. So we gotta set a condition for this gate and that's going to be green signal equal to zero. So when we pretty much don't have a green signal. Copy uh, with shift and right click and paste it onto this gate and this gate and this gate. Make sure to, yeah, uh, oops, there we go. My paste was a bit weird. I clicked on here instead of here. So make sure when you are pasting it's it's you could see the dashed lines. There we go. And then double check. This one, this one, good. And this one's good. Okay. So this actually should work now. Let's um just put on the lights in the corners. And these are just gonna be our indicator lights. That are pretty much copying the signal. Um, well, this side will be the signal. There we go. Box that in. Connect that up. And now we will do use colors. And enable is just anything. And there we go. It's lighting up because our signal is a green signal. Copy with shift and right click, paste shift left click. Same on this light and connect the light actually. And oops, one more light. And then we will we'll be done. Connect and paste. There we go. So now I will connect the rails. And the train should be moving. There we go. That works. What about this one? Yep. That works. Can't get through. And that's that. There you go. That's simple as that. We have an intersection uh, crossing, safe crossing for the trains. Just make sure you don't uh, get stuck here on the tr uh, on the rail because that will kill you. So make sure you watch the other video that I made with um, player priority. Um, that one is a little, works just a little bit different where it actually gives you the priority to walk through these and stops the train. Of course, this is not, um, you know, as real life, but perhaps it has some uses. So make sure you check that out as well. And um, what I didn't mention is these rails are a big electric pole apart. If you guys are curious, there is a train tutorial that I did. Um, on how I build my rails, so check that out as well. Links in the description as always. Uh, if you like this video, if it uh, helped you out, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you already ha if you already haven't. I will have more tutorial videos coming out. Um, leave a comment down below and uh, let me know what you think uh, of this setup. Uh, if you have any suggestions on how to improve it and. Um, if I see something cool, I'll definitely make another video about it. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.